This is the absolutely gorgeous Alice. She's a nine-year-old husky, and this is her first appointment with me. You do not want to miss her incredible before and after. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am bathing her today with my soap nozzle to ensure that I can get the shampoo down to her skin. My dirty dog shampoo is a degreaser and will ensure that I can get all of her brown fur white again. A few facts about Huskies is that they were originally developed as sled dogs. If you own a Husky, you know that they are escape artists, and they have a very high prey drive for smaller animals. Whenever a Husky comes in sprayed by a skunk, I always say, rest in peace to that skunk. And standing next to the German Shepherd, Huskies are one of the worst shedders of all breeds of dogs. I'm giving Alice two shampoos today because she is very dirty and I'm making sure to give that a good scrub. I want her owners to be amazed at the difference in their dog when they pick her up. After Alice has been fully scrubbed down, I give her face a good wash and then it's time to rinse her off. Rinsing her can be quite challenging as her coat is extremely thick. It takes quite a bit of time to ensure that I remove all of the suds from her coat. And then, using my soap dispensing nozzle again, I fully condition her entire body. It then took me three full-size bath towels in order to get her dry. I spray her down in our vinegar water mixture to speed up the drying process, and I brush that through her coat using my slicker brush. I've placed a happy hoodie around her ears in order to muffle the sound from the dryer. Most dogs calm right down for the blow drying process when they are wearing one. In this case, I noticed that Alice really did not like the happy hoodie, so I removed it. Ultimately, we use them for the comfort of the dog, and if the dog does not like it, they do not have to wear it. I am vigorously moving my dryer back and forth as quickly as I can. I am doing this so I can remove any dead undercoat. At this time, Alice is not blowing coat, so I will not be able to remove a ton of fur from her. However, bringing her in right before she is about to malt is a good idea. Now when she is ready to shed her winter coat, it will be much easier to remove it and it will not get compacted. And now Alice is telling me that she is about done with the blow drying process. Just a little bit longer, Alice. I promise you are almost finished. We just need to make sure that your coat is completely dry to avoid hot spots. And there you go. She is all blow dried and ready to be brushed. And at this point, the queen herself decides she would like to lay down while I complete the service. I brushed her with my slicker brush and then I moved to my undercoat rake. I can't help but to admire her cuteness as she lays there while I brush her. She is truly a unicorn husky. So much so that I was mind blown that she laid down while I clipped her nails and shaved her paws. The average husky absolutely despises having their feet touched and it is always a challenge, but not with Alice. Many of you have asked why we shave the paw pads. To put it simply, it is to help the owner maintain cleaning their feet when they come in from outside much easier. And in the winter time, it prevents snow from building up in their pads. After that, I tidy up the tops of her feet using my scissors, and then I clean out her ears. Because she is a queen, it is only fitting that I spray her in our champagne cologne. And this absolutely gorgeous dog is all finished. She reminds me of a perfectly sculpted, giant fluffy marshmallow. She is going home to her family to get a lot of snuggles. Keep watching for her before and after photos. Thank you for your cooperation, Alice. I hope I get to see you again real soon.